I'm Mariana, this is Crystal and Sophie, and we are at our senior high school art exhibition, Say La Vie. So, Say La Vie basically translates to That's Life, which is why we picked this exhibition. Uh, after everything we've been through this year, all the struggles, we've had a few assessments cancelled on us. We basically just did our best to put all of our favourite art pieces that we did this year and put it together so all our family and friends can see it and enjoy it. about seven pieces. Okay. They're all different. Compress everything. How many do you have? <laughs> oh, that's why. We only have three this year. So if we have some whales, they're actually pretty cute. <laughs> um, the seven of them I have is one is a set of three, which is a collection promoting the Hitcher of Way. Yeah. Um, then there's a heart, which is full of food, made out of food, talking about diabetes, that was a social issue. And then I have a portrait of Nuni, my grandma, and the wearable arm, which is about leaving your footprint, and the butterfly, which is pretty much the same. Um, so I have five pieces in the exhibition. Uh, three of them are part of a collection called Outback Wandering and it's pieces that are based on sculptures along the Lake Dunn Sculpture Trail out west, um, which is somewhere we went when we were on a family holiday and we have family friends out there. So that place does mean a lot to me. And my oil painting, which is one of my fourth pieces, is actually based off of out there as well. So I just bought all my pieces from that area, which is somewhere I really feel at home, and put it into this exhibition so people can see where I really, really feel comfortable. Okay. My, <laughs> my pieces are the mugs, which is about diversity, and there's a saying in Aboriginal Guinea is that no matter how much milk, it's still a cup of coffee. So no matter your skin tone, your skin colour, you're still a human being, you're still part of the culture. Uh, my second piece is the Bird of Paradise Wino Print. Uh, that's promoting the Hitchin Way and our local flora and fauna. And my third piece is uh, a painting of orchids, which was kind of a free reign painting. That's the one I could do whatever I want. Yes. So I chose orchids, which are a cool animal. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So over this year, we've done many topics, including social issues and um, promoting our area, which is the Hitchin Brook. And this exhibition is just a collection of all the year levels and their artwork throughout this year. Every year it happens, and it's their second year. Yeah. And actually, on that side of the exhibition, is lino prints. A few of the students went away and did a lino printing with some people in council just last week, I think. And that was an opportunity they got to go do that and they get to put that on display as well, which is pretty cool. It's, good. it's a rare experience. I, it's, it is a wonderful gallery. Uh, you know, it's one of the best in the north. Everybody tells us that when they come here to uh, display. Even Kev tonight, he's here. He's the last, their last display. He had the woodworking display, it was a fascinating thing. And um, he's back tonight to have a look at this. It's probably, he's probably encouraged, like me, to see all the young ones coming through now. Somebody will be doing something like Kev in 30 or 40 years' time. So it's great that um, we can keep going with the young ones getting involved. Um, now, Nick, you're having a pretty busy time at the moment with the collection <laughs> and stuff, but it's great that you've been able to get here. Would you like to uh, just say a couple yeah, of words, mate?
we were talking about just earlier uh, how long it's been since I was at school. It was 20 years since I was in the art class over at grade, um, grade 12 over at Gilroy Santa Maria. And one of the best parts of uh, doing schooling over there was building a relationship, not only with my arts class, but with the teacher that, um, that helped me, Mrs. Pietro one over there. And art gives you an opportunity not only to express yourself, but it also becomes a real snapshot of time. And what I've seen inside there this afternoon is your grade 12 year and the class of uh, 2020 and how it's affected you, not only the COVID pandemic, but how you've also got over adversity and worked through it. Tonight, I'd like to uh, congratulate the Year 12 students for putting on a brilliant display and a brilliant art show, but also, also congratulate uh, everyone that's helped along the way. Also, the other students throughout from uh, Grade 7 all the way through to Grade 11 have also got some lovely pieces displayed in there. Thank you very much for everyone that's uh, supported tonight, and I hope everyone enjoys themselves as much as I have so far. Get in there, have a look at the artwork, and really have a look what England has on show. We've got some brilliant talent right here in England. Thank you. So pretty much it is based on the seniors' artwork, so mainly grade 12. But we also like to get all the younger grades involved so we can see and the community can see how artwork is building up throughout the year. So all our pieces are towards the middle and we all have our own spots for all our work. And then the junior work all around the side. So basically it's all in the middle and then what's coming up in the future inside. Yeah, it's, it's good showing other schools like primary schools especially if their teachers come here and they can be like telling their kids what they've seen so kids can get inspiration like oh I'm gonna go to a high school like I've seen what they've done it's really cool like I'm gonna do that and put that in an exhibition when I'm in year 12. When I'm in year 12. This week, I'm not great. Oh, it's open for a month. Anyone for the community? Tourists. Anyone can come and purchase the artwork too. Yes, they are for sale. That's right. I think I got all my art skills from my mother. I always saw her painting around the house, from the beach house, painting the ocean. I'll just sit next to her if I look paint some paint next to her and try and copy it. Yeah, and all my aunties are all talented and the cousins. Um, I think the only thing I remember about being artistic when I was little was I used to paint myself. I had a big thing with painting myself, but I have lots of photos to prove it, or I've been head to toe in paint. Um, I think that's my parents letting me express my artistic freedom, and yeah, that's... I think I also I chose the subject art too because I didn't choose it in year 9 and 10 and I did after school art with one of the teachers and she really just taught me watercolour which is now my favourite yes. and that's just why I chose. You do that every time. Yeah. <laughs> that is um, why I chose art for year 11 and 12 is just because Miss Banana was really young to choosing it because she just brought out passion in me a lot more. Yeah. I've done art ever since I was like three. It's a great way to express how you're feeling and it's what you see in the um, Ever since then I've done art all through high school, through primary school. Uh, I even got the chance to go to Brisbane in year 10 uh, where I got to experience what it's like to be a part of a museum and what it's like to create art on a professional level. How long were you there for? All week. Oh, it's all week. I don't even remember. That was the case they had in 3D, right? Yeah. 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 The canvas is on top of that. I thought it was good. Social issues. That was always our topic. Yeah. Always. Social issues. Social issues. Global issues. Local issues. <laughs> There was a lot of issues we always had to fight. We had to reflect on personal issues, issues within the community, and basically put it into a piece of art. Yes. Instead of writing, then we had to write about it. That's not the best bit of it. I like painting. Painting is better. Yes. The pieces are the best part. 
about it. It's not the writing. <laughs> the writing on the wall is just a little bit extra. Just so people can understand why we did the painting. They went there with us. So, no, they, they could read what was going through our minds. It was like, oh, social issues again. Let's pick another one. Yep. Yeah. We had to do something different each time for social issues. Is there a favorite one though? Pollution. I did pollution. I like that. Yeah, that was ocean. Ocean. I think. Did you? Yeah, that was really good. And then the heart, that was diabetes. That was good. I'm not really sure what I want to do in the future, but I'm sure I could do something with that art. I'm going to bring that into the thing. Oh, it's good. You're just redecorating your room. Decorating. Actually, gonna do interior design. I am going. Yeah, interior that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> interior design, architecture. That's art. Art is very useful. I mean, chocolate. Yeah, I chocolate. I do that. I have to do art for kids. Yeah, that's good. That's seeing how they express themselves too. Yeah, it's very different. It's cool. With a lot of the younger grades, like when their artworks are in here, you can see what they got to do because we didn't get to see what they got to do. So it's cool to come in here, not know what they're putting in, like the artworks behind us, not knowing that they did that, and we get to see it, and it's really cool. Like, oh, like I remember doing that when I was really great. Like, it's cool. They did it differently to what we did. They express very different to us. Very, very different. The techniques and everything. Yeah, that they were very cool. You know, times have changed. They all have phones now. So, like, they bring technology into their artwork where, like, back then I didn't have a phone. I was like, just, yeah, whatever it was in my head. Yep. That's interesting. Oh, we did face painting. Yeah, it's fun right to see like the art students with face paint. Markers and has the turtle day something that they do in town. And you'll find like senior art students will paint people's faces and the donations go to what's what things are needed. They also use our artworks like on display in town sometimes. At, um, senior open days, junior open days, like get the kids from the school, school, promote it, yeah. promote the art. Doing art, yeah. It's actually fun. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think it's my favourite subject. Yeah. I get to do something fun. What's happening today is just the year 12s, like especially, but also year 10s and 11s, putting together like what they can do, even though we've had so much trouble this year. Like with the virus, we had weeks of school, like we had trouble accessing books and some things that we needed, and it's just showing like, you know, we can do this, like even after everything, we still were able to put us together, like it's pretty cool that we can do that other schools aren't even open right now, so it's not like they can even do this, so it's hard doing this with online schooling. Yeah. We had to do a lot of online schooling, do a little sketch and take a picture and send it in, and Miss Sinclair could look at it and give us feedback. It's hard because you can actually look at everyone's in person and get their ideas as well. Yeah. It's very individual. Yes. There was a very creative workspace at home. So it's a lot more fun in the art room. It's more creative. Also, I think being a part of the exhibition is just a cool experience. It is. Everyone gets to see your art and how you express yourself. And you can also see everyone else's part of the school. You can see the effort too. Yeah, it's a lot of effort. effort. Of time. Even setting yeah. up, setting up, setting up. Setting up. up. That's what we did last year and this year. Getting the little measure. Even our phones have a little measure apps. So we can make sure everything's straight, 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 straight
work. Make sure everyone's is where they like it. Please, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Come and visit the exhibition at the Spider Gallery. Open for a There's a lot of cool things in here. I would like to invite, or well, actually, she's already here, sorry, Rita. And uh, I would like to invite the senior art class of 11 and 12 students who are here tonight, if you could come forward. We'd like to acknowledge your efforts in curating the show. They were enthusiastic, they collaborated. and all the artworks are in boxes on the floor and you can just see the plain wires just hanging there and think, oh, right, how is this all going to come together? And it's actually really daunting, even for people who are more experienced in this process. We were very, very fortunate that these guys worked so well together and we're very appreciative of their efforts. We also would like to wish a special message to the Year 12s to wish them all the very best in their endeavours and we really look forward to hearing about all the exciting things that are yet to come. So congratulations and all the best. <laughs> we are proud of all of our art students that are part of the exhibition tonight. They're all positive role models for not only our school, but also tipping up. It's wonderful to see our students to be able to achieve at this high um, level. So thank you.